Hello and welcome to Working With Miniatures. I'm Jim and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the 4E's Mini Vortex Shaker by Scientific Labs. It's a 5,600 RPM motor. Let's get to it. The box for the 4E Scientific Lab Vortex Shaker contains a shaker itself, a power cable, and beneath the styrofoam bedding is the manual, an informational pamphlet, and a replacement rubber head. The power cable is a 110 wall outlet that connects to the shaker via micro USB head. I immediately found the on and off button on the bottom of the shaker, but because I'm a man and I do not read manuals or ask for directions, my first thought was that it didn't work. And because I'm a man, my second thought was to hit it, despite that has literally never fixed anything for me in my life. My third thought was maybe the power cable was bad or had a break in the line, but I noticed there was a red light inside of the USB port, so it was getting power. After staring at the shaker like an idiot, it dawned on me that maybe it isn't activated until you push down on the rubber head, which is of course what I'm sure the manual would have told me. The force of the 5,600 RPM motor took me by surprise. It's strong enough that after a few minutes of mixing different paint bottles, it can become uncomfortable. The rubber feet on the bottom of its triangular design keeps it from rattling it on a flat surface. Now for a side-by-side -side comparison to a very inexpensive fingernail polish shaker that I was using previously. The first major thing to note is the difference in how loud they are. The 4E Scientific Lab Vortex Shaker is quiet enough that I can run it at night without waking up my wife on the other end of the hall, whereas the fingernail polish shaker will most assuredly rouse her wrath. The second and most important thing to note is that the 4E's shaker smoothly mixes Army Painter paints in about 15 to 20 seconds for most of them, maybe 30 to 40 seconds on the more stubborn colors. Crusted sore and orc blood, I'm looking at you. The fingernail polish remover can take two to five minutes to get this mixed well. Also keep in mind that I have stainless steel mixing balls in all of my dropper bottles. The Fort E shaker also has no issues mixing the larger paint bottles, such as the Vallejo color primers pictured here on the left. Now, it may sound like the 4E Scientific Lab Vortex Shaker is the only option between these two, but with a hefty price at just over 100 US dollars versus the fingernail polish shaker's 25 US dollars, the choice will likely be dependent on your budget. My final verdict regarding the 4E Scientific Lab Vortex Shaker? I'm a fan. If it dies, I will likely replace it with another or possibly something similar with a stronger motor but I'll not go back to something weaker. That's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or maybe you were influenced to purchase or not purchase the Mini Vortex Shaker by Scientific Labs. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time and I bid you a fond farewell. Till the next video.